It's Zion Ultra Marathon this weekend. It's one of my favorite trail running events. The views here are gorgeous. You have views of the full course and the course itself for the 100 mile is a big loop of 100 miles. So you're never going to the same place or almost never going to the same place, which I think really adds to the adventure feeling of that. So uh, yeah, so let's get rolling. I'm at the race check-in, I'm gonna drop my bag and I'm gonna sign up. And then I'm gonna spend some time helping a little bit uh, the race organization. I think it's a fantastic race organization, vacation race, I have quite a few races. Uh, there's Antelope Canyon that I've also done and Bryce Canyon, which I wanna do someday. It's a very difficult course, that one, so I wanna make sure that I'm well rested to do it. Hey buddy. First time 100 milers, hands in the air. Awesome. It's not easy, but. Let's go. <laughs> Drink up, stay hydrated, stay on those electrolytes, and let's make it a great, great day. You guys ready to go? Let's count it down. Four, three, two, one. Our Zion Ultras are officially underway. Have fun. All right, you're up. All for you. There he goes. Hey, oh, wait. GPS. Get the watch. All for you. Your 36 hours has begun. Mile zero energy. Today, I really want to take it as slow as possible, focus on eating, focusing on finishing strong, which is easier said than done. Buddy's feeling okay, still some tendonitis, but is getting better. The only thing is both Nora and I were sick this week, but I'm feeling much better. Mile three, distracted. All right, we're at the first aid station. Things have gone very well. Running with Phil, that was awesome. Hey guys, how are you doing? Good, how's it going? All right, now that we did Goosebump, we're doing Gooseberry Mesa, and the sun's about to come up. Start this race in t-shirt, just with my safety light. I think that was a good call. Mile six, taking it slow. All right. Thanks, right now. Right here. This is awesome. This is the best part of the course.
Mile 9, Sunrise. The turnaround point was, as always, so beautiful. It's a gorgeous trail and one of the reasons is because this is also mountain biking. And you can really see the flow that cyclists would take and that makes for a very smooth running. It's very comfortable right now though it's difficult not to go faster it feels so good wish it could be like that all day <laughs> 12 miles chilling I guess so. I'm not even sure we're on the trail right now. That doesn't look like a trail to me. Yeah, I don't think this is a trail, but let's go there. Wait, did you do a video on YouTube? Yeah! I watched it! Here to the right. Yeah. Left. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I'm Simon, ultra runner, doing 100 miles every month. It was really fun yesterday to volunteer sometimes and giving a T-shirt. I got to meet so many people, so many of you guys racing today. Let me know how it went. I hope you had a great day. I hope I will have a great day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was great meeting you all. Coming up on the 8th station, feeling pretty strong. Can I get you uh, Yeah, I'll get something. Mile 15, having fun. And I'm going actually much slower than usually, which is great. I think that's the plan today. Go slow, take it easy, eat a lot, finish strong, doesn't matter in what time. If you haven't seen and you're preparing for the race, maybe in the future, just so you know, I post also a course preview so you could check it out. I also went through the gear I have today. We're doing the climb, but in reverse, so the descent on the Z, it's very steep, it's very loose, it's very technical, and having poles here, super helpful. Mile 18, here we go. Okay, we made it down, that was steep. What's up? Huh? 
Mile 21, la ricaneuse. <laughs> If you find this video entertaining or even that, if you enjoyed that video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. That's really helping me a lot. Mile 24, feeling good. <laughs> Mile 27, it's hot. We are now just out of the Virgin Desert aid station. I'm feeling pretty good, taking my time to save energy. I don't think this is my best day ever, but I'm still feeling pretty strong. We're gonna try and maintain that, eating a lot, drinking a lot. Now I'm taking salt pills. Just trying to be slow and steady all day instead of fast and crash. So we'll see how, how the strategy pans out. Thirty miles, moving my legs. Oh, thank you. Yeah. It's beautiful with the mountain in the background in the snow. Yeah. I don't remember it being snowy in the past year. Yeah. How much? Wow. Yeah, That's insane. Mile thirty three, moving forward. We just made it to the Virgin Dam, feeling okay. Uh, it's been a very social race, I love that <laughs> so much. So it's been really fun so far. And now we're gonna head towards the Smith Mesa climb, which is a big climb, where things can go south very quickly. Ah, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a little bit of wind. Oh, that feels good. Oh, that feels so good. Mile 36. It's sunny. Alright, we're coming out of the desert, which means big climb ahead. There's water for everyone. That's gonna feel good. Mile 39, climbing. So we're finally out of the desert. Now we're gonna do Smith Mesa, which is equally hot. But first, big grind, big climb. Second biggest of the course, and it's hot. Still climbing. This is a rough climb, 
A lot of fun in game. We were there this morning. We're going there tonight. It's mile 42. Great fall. Flying monkey is over there. But I keep trying to see it. I don't see it. Maybe it's further, but even from here, you can see all the the rock slides. It's sketchy, and flying monkey is absolutely sketchy. I know it might sound random, but you know when you run 100 mile, random things happen in your head. But right now, I feel so much. I feel so much gratitude. Like I'm so happy, even though I'm struggling right now. I'm so happy I can be here. I'm so happy I can live an adventure like that. Nora being here to help me, you know, taking her time to support me. I'm thinking about this summer for Bad Water, where we have an amazing crew of people that will be there for me. And I mean, it means so much. Like, I don't know why I start feeling like that so much, but like, God damn, like I'm lucky. I'm really lucky to be here. Actually, you know what? I think I know why. The reason I feel grateful is that I think the tree line is where we're going. In general, the aid station here, wow. You have so much different food, everything you need. They had salt pills, they had ice, they were smiling, they had music. I mean, what more can you ask for? It was awesome. Uh, oh. Up to the Smith Mesa loop now. It's a long and annoying one. Mile 45, freaking cows. There were quite a few guys at the Smith Mesa aid station taking a break, and I perfectly understand. I mean, this rough coming out of the desert, if you push too hard, you climb Smith Mesa, you're toasty. But, if they had watched my tips video, they would know. <laughs> it seems that they didn't listen. We didn't listen! Stan, get in the car! We have to evacuate! We didn't listen! Now, we didn't take care of our earth and now you've inherited our problems! We didn't listen! We, we didn't listen! Come on, everyone grab what you can, we have to walk! 48 getting there in a long stretch I'm getting tired all right we're coming down flying monkey now it's the most technical portion of the course in case you didn't know it's called flying monkey I think we're the monkey Yeah. Mile 51, halfway done. How are you? <laughs> welcome to Pioneer Village. Hi kids, welcome to my village. I settled here in 1864 with my ma and pa. Welcome to 1864. Settlement! Ugh, this is gonna suck. Well howdy partners. Are you folks settlers or are you just trappers passing through? Uh, look, can we just drop the whole role-playing thing? I would play along, but my girlfriend's here and I don't want to look like a total dork in front of her. Thanks, Stan. Comparing to a prior year, I'm one or two hours later. It's crazy. Uh, we'll still finish, though. It's not, 
It's not about being fast, it's about having fun. Lap 54, distracted. All right, after 54 mile, I gotta admit, I think, I think it's affecting me. Something. A slight tingle in my fingers. I think it's affecting me. Yeah. What did I say? Mile 58, getting smoked. It's 8 o'clock and I finally heard from Simon. He, I think he said he's okay, but moving slow, which is good. I don't want him to go super hard. Now we're doing the guacamole loop, but I'm definitely gonna finish in the dark. That really will slow me down. That's a difficult one, but we'll go as far as we can. I'm really in the mindset right now. I just want to finish and I really don't mind walking a lot. Mile 60, sunset. It's a nice sunset. Right now is the perfect temperature and have a rebound of energy, but short lived. But I'm gonna use that, get as far as possible in this mess up because it can get tricky to navigate at night. It's funny because it really feels like two different race. During the day, crazy heat. During the night, crazy cold. Mile 63, starting to get lost. Right, it is officially dark and it's hard to navigate. But the good news is once we get to Guacamole 8 station, there's gonna be a road. Good job. A lot of people going in Guacamole in the dark. It's gonna be tough. I'm getting lost all the time. All right, we made it to Guacamole. Feels good to be here. Mile 66. Cruising downhill. The downhill coming out of Black Hamel Loop feels so good right now. 69, it's hard. Mile 72, rainbows and butterfly. Right now I try to be as positive as possible and thinking there's like eight miles to do and then I see Nora. I was sad leaving the aid station, there were a few people dropping always you know always heartbreaking to see that i hope they're okay so it's amazing to run that far to begin with and that's something not to lose sight of <sighs> all right we're about to do the big climb now all i need to think is i do that then i went nara Mile 75, climbing. Mile 78, sleepwalking. Yeah. Mile 81, Nora. Butters, you are not to let go of Eric's hand until you are both back on that bus. Do you understand? I understand. Back to life. Hi, buddy. Hi. Mile 84, 
Mesa time. I'm so happy Nora is here right now. There's a switch in my head that is like, I have absolutely no reason to go fast. I just went there and I slept and I felt so good. Can you cook? Can we get a cook? Ah, oh, that's so close. Thank you. Do you have bacon? Huh. So I see there's some way over there. You can let go now, Butters. No! Butters, come on! No! 87 mile, half marathon to go. We're taking our time, but making good progress. Moving forward, that's what matters. I think the conclusion that we have right now is that in terms of racing schedule this year, I need to make a few tweaks to make sure I can heal for my important race. Mile 90, final countdown. We are done with the wire mesa, going to Grafton Mesa, which is the last mesa, and that's a great feeling. Getting there. Mile 93, hope. I almost got that on video. Okay, last loop. Yeah, let's get it done. Just before starting this loop, I was taking a nap <laughs> and we had some nice visitor and that was so cool. <laughs> let's finish that. Strong. Yeah. <laughs> Mile 96, it's sunny! Final turnaround point. Woo! Here we go! Can't believe we we're like two miles from the finish line. This is so amazing. I'm looking forward to be done, but that was a really fun race. I had so much fun today. Coming out of the Mesa, last one. Yeah, the dogs are so cute. They're not here. No. Well. Oh well. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Finish strong, man. You got this. Thank you for everything, volunteers. 
Mile 99, victory lap with the best company. Half marathon are finishing too. They get all the love. <laughs> It's downhill, it's good. <laughs> we'll do hand in hand after. Okay. Hey, look! Teacher, my partner is back on the bus. No, it's Simon coming on in. Well, Zion was a great experience this weekend. It's, it's funny because it really was not my race, but I did not push this time around. But it was a great experience, really super social. We met so many people. That was amazing running with all you guys. I loved it. But now it's sleepy time. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> <laughs>